Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays, and welcome to part 40 of my 100 Vampire Baby Challenge. Or well, season 2, part 40, I should say. This is actually part 80, because we had 40 parts in the first season. Now, the kids are home from school. It's a Friday afternoon, and I actually played the day with the kids at school off screen. But we had a glitch and Seth didn't go to school, which is super annoying. So he spent the day at home working on his skills. He's now ready to go, but he didn't go to school. So I'm going to be working on everyone else over the weekend and Seth can just coast, I guess. So Ulrich has been working hard and he's now a B student. Tegan is now a grade A student. Violet is a B student and Will is a B student. So I think Seth. Oh, he's also a B student, so at least he's not a C. I mean, it'd be a bit awkward if his siblings were overtaking him. But yeah, Tegan is the only one that's an A student, so we're going to quickly age her up. I can hear Xanthi pitching a fit over something. Are you? What? Oh, we're teaching her to talk. I mean, okay, if you want to do that, Hannah, that's fine. Tegan, where are you? She is an A student. She will be our only teen, which is good. I've missed having a teen in the house, not going to lie. So the kid I thought was going to be our matriarch is on her way. She's not. I'm still not over it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Happy birthday, Tegan. I mean, I am really happy with Xanthi. She's very cute. I have given her a slight makeover, so I'll show you guys in a sec. So Tegan is a slow learner. Oh, thank goodness we dodged a bullet. Oh, that would be so bad. Child of the... Slow learner is a slice of life trait. It's like the opposite of talented, so it reduces their ability to level up every single skill, which would be awful. Awful for a matriarch. Like, really, really bad. I mean, this isn't a challenge where you have to have Sims get certain abilities or anything. It's not like, say, Celebrity Gold Digger, where you have to max out your charisma before the end of the challenge. But at the same time, you kind of need things like charisma to be seducing people. So, yeah. Anyway, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, Xanthi could end up with worse. So, who knows? What's the number between 1 and 12? A random number between 1 and 12 is 10. Love. What's a number between 1 and 2? A random number between 1 and 2 is 2. Oh, she wants to find a soulmate. Well, she would make a terrible matriarch, really, wouldn't she? But let's just take a moment to appreciate how gorgeous she is. And she does have brown hair. So there you go. Good work. Good work, sweetheart. All right, she's come into her vampiric powers, so I'm going to get her to add some candles. Good girl. All right, and then we'll quickly spend her power points because I can't really handle the whole no bat form thing in this house. I don't think our next house is going to have quite so many stories. This house has got like five stories. It's a little bit intense. All right, I'm going to get her to let's test out fly here as a bat. And then she can do a little bit of a dark meditation. Hannah is, oh, she was having a bit of a freak out because the sun's out, but she's now feeling energized, so it's fine. All right, what's the matter, Xanthi? Oh, you had a toilet thing. I mean, everyone in this house has had a toilet thing at one point or another. Just, it's, it's fine. All right, so this is our cute little princess, Xanthi. She will be our new matriarch. She's still got freckles, but I changed the particular freckles. Like these ones to me look more natural. I think she's gorgeous and I love her and freckles are also the very, very best. What's up, buddy? I got a present that I think is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. I'm going to say give it to someone else. What I'm thinking is, you know, charity. If you don't want it, why keep it and borrow into that consumerist lifestyle? That's all I'm saying. Xanthi is level two. Good work, kiddo. Where are you at? All right, maybe you could do some blocks and perhaps your mother could help. I really like if I could get her to level five in all skills, that'd be amazing because that trait, it, I didn't remember the name of the trait. There's a trait they get if they get level five in everything and it's better than the one they get if they get level three. And given she's going to be our matriarch, I feel like that would be amazing. Oh, come on, Xanthi. Time's a wasting. All right, she needs to do something fun. Do something fun. Is this fun? Soul face, soul 
Oh, not for me. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. No, no, stop. Stop right now. All right, can you teach her sh No, was it shapes? Stop. I've changed my mind. Mistakes were made. Teach shapes, I guess. That'll do. I thought teach shapes was communication, but it's not. It's thinking. Okay, who else is awake? We have Tegan and we have Will. So Tegan's over here. Will's doing his homework like a good kid. And then he's off to play some chess. Good work, boyo. And then she also has to do some homework. I do need to give her a makeover and then take her photo, as is traditional for Hannah. I'm, I was debating whether or not to have the new matriarch do the photos of the kids thing, because part of me kind of likes it, right? But at the same time, I'm like, oh, oh how are we going to get her skill to level three? I suppose it's good that it's the weekend, because she's going to need some help. Maybe I could get her to do some projects. Are these two the same? Solar system. Congratulations. That is your project. There we go. There are two of them. They're both yours. Enjoy. Okay, Tegan. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to sleep. That's a benefit. So once she's got her homework done, we'll get her to maybe have a snack. And then she can do a project. I shouldn't leave this one here, should I? Someone else is going to do that. And I'm getting annoyed. Even though we have like 287,000 simoleons and I can afford to replace it, I'm still going to get annoyed. I mean, it's going to happen. All right, go to the bathroom. Whoa. Whoa. I'm hearing electrical sounds. That doesn't sound good. Um, okay, I'm, I'm not super comfortable. That sounds... Oh my gosh, there's no repair option. Um, why can I not? Oh, hang on. Why is Xanthi working on movement? Where are you going? Uh, actually, you are potty level two, so I'm going to get you to go potty, and then I'll get her some food. We'll pop that here. I guess I have to just replace the observatory. It's weird to me that I can't... I mean, we, like I said, we can afford it. It's just weird that there's no repair option. You know, once your observatory breaks, well, you're completely out of luck, aren't you? Are you eating in the toilet? I mean, that's not super hygienic. Just saying. If I have her help, this is something I've been wondering. If I have had to help Tegan with the projects, does Tegan get the same amount of skill building or does it just finish the project quicker and then I need to go through more projects to get the same amount of skill building? I don't know. Something I've been wondering, because if it increases her skill gain, obviously it's worth doing. But if it just means I have to spend more simoleons, it doesn't seem so great. All right, you're almost done. Will's on his way to becoming a true savant. Good work, Will. What's the matter, kiddo? Oh yeah, tired and hungry and whatever. Less playing with the food, more putting the food in your mouth and you'll be less hungry. Newsflash, mind you, real world toddlers could also stand to lose that, to learn that lesson. I was thinking about one of my favourite toys and can't find it. I'm starting to miss it and feel sad. Keep looking for it. All right, she needs skill to level four. And I'm probably working on mental because I have decided that that is the easy one. And I'm doing that from now on and never doing any others. Oh, creature needs his trash emptied. All right, small one. Yeah, she's not eating all her food. No, eat your ham dinner. Come on. I'm watching you, Xanthi. Don't be like those other toddlers who don't finish their meals. How are we going, Hannah? Those are some angry bees. Not very good at looking after my bees. Violet just became good friends with her brother. That's excellent. Like her twin, I mean. I mean, obviously everyone is related to someone else in this house. Uh, he's everybody's brother. That just break. Are you serious? Like I said, I don't actually really care what Seth does because his traits, as long as he's in a good mindset on Monday morning, I don't care because he stayed home from school annoyingly. I don't know what happened. It was just the go to school button didn't do anything. I've had that before. 
I don't know if it's because I... If I reset something or... I don't mean to Bacula. Bacula knows all your secrets, kiddo. Just saying. Anyway, I mean, I could get... Actually, that's something Seth could do. He could help Xanthi. Because I gather that... Um, Oi! Stop being mean to the bear. I mean, he's not actually a bear. He's called Bear Killer. But I keep calling him a bear. All right. Now, Ulrich actually is going to do his homework. Do your homework and stop being mean to the bear. I don't know why he's being mean to the bear. That's so cruel. But yeah, I gather kids can help toddlers learn certain skills. So I might have Seth and Ulrich focus on Xanthi. And then Hannah can do, like, a photo shoot with Tegan and stuff. I might actually give her a quick little makeover. Start I actually don't mind this outfit, but I want to see what her formal wear looks like because it's probably going to need some work. And I've mostly done the kids in their formal wear. I will check back with you guys in a sec. So, since Tegan is a child of the islands, I decided for her formal wear outfit, I'll just show you guys, to give her one that was Sulami inspired. Oh, she can summon island elementals. I mean, that sounds like fun. <laughs> They'll probably just trash my plumbing and stuff. I mean, we're in Forgotten Hollow. It doesn't feel like the place for them. Uh, what was I doing? Dresser, change outfits, and we'll pop her in her formal wear just so you guys can see it. I will do a photo shoot with her later, but obviously she's got some work to do first. I think it's super cute and she's a very very cute sim she would have made a gorgeous matriarch so i'm a little bit sad but like i said the sadness is a lot a lot of it is around the whole hair color thing yes i have a problem i understand that it's fine what is the matter oh you're sick come in here and help her oh i have bees i forgot i had bees um can i just i don't know send bees to do something let's see Pollinate my plant. Tegan finished her project. Extra credit has been awarded. Awesome, Tegan. Now do the next one. So how much skill did she get from that? She got a third of the way to level one. Or to level two. Well, I mean, she's going to be very good at making these projects by the time she's done. I'm going to buy some more. There we go. That's a construction line if ever I've seen one. So she's focused. I assume that that helps. In fact, she's very focused. Uh, let's see if assisting will help. Why are you not in bed, young lady? I feel very strongly about napping. If I could take any single interaction out of this game, it would be napping. I mean, not interested. Seriously. Oh, I should update you guys. Because I mentioned it, and you're napping too! Ah! Um, I mentioned it in my Celebrity Gold Digger video, but if you're not watching that series, you will have missed it. You may remember in the last episode, I was having issues with the game going into three times speed. So, people much smarter than me have figured out that it's connected to the maid being in the house. So, I may have to fire the maid when she turns up. Which is sad, but, you know... It's annoying having the game constantly be going into three times speed and I feel like things are going to go wrong. The other glitch that I was having was this shower and like the shower bath combo that I had and I ended up replacing it with, with a bath. What I didn't try in my troubleshooting was just getting someone to have a bath in it. I was telling all of the kids to have showers because it's quicker, right? The bath function of the shower baths is currently working. The showers aren't. So any of those combined shower over a tub, bathtub things at the moment, you can't shower in them. This is another glitch that I guess came with the most recent patch. It's a bit disappointing. Oh, Hannah's level three rocket science. Could she like cheat for Tegan on her test or something? I mean, I'm not in a hurry to move Tegan out, but still it's like, oh, this could take a while. How are you going, pal? Little Ulrich, I feel like he's the neglected one because we had the twins who are now different ages and then we had another set of twins and then we have a matriarch and then there's Ulrich <laughs> just sort of in the middle there. <laughs> he's all right. He's doing okay. He's a B student. I should actually get him to do a project because that will give him a boost and probably mean he'll get to A. Come and do one of your sister's projects. I mean, why not? Just one. It's fine. In the morning. No rush. And 
I should probably do the same with the others then. We're going to have a production line. She still needs a skill to level four. So once she's bathed and oh, she's going to need to go to the toilet as well. See, if she hadn't wasted time napping, she would have had much more energy by now. Good work, Tegan. How are you going for your needs, darling? Your thirst is getting pretty low. So I'll have her quickly get some snacks and maybe take a quick shower, you know, stretch all those kinks out from kneeling in a really awkward position on the floor and then start working carefully on a project. Why I've chosen rocket science, I just, because it was the one I had basically. <laughs> I kind of, she doesn't strike me as an astronaut kind of sim. That's where we're at. All right, I'm actually going to skip ahead because I think that basically I'm going to get all of them to be doing the same thing. If they haven't got a skill to level four, that's what they're doing. They should have all done their homework by now. And then Tegan working on her skill because she's going to be the hardest one to do. So I might do that on three times speed and I'll loop you guys back in if anything exciting happens. Work, work, work. Like seriously, work, work, work. Oh, someone's getting sick. What's the matter, Will? He's clearly not well. Will is not well. Tegan, just a bit of a status update. Tegan has not yet made it to level two. She's almost there though, but she's done, I want to say four projects now, because I've dumped two in her mum's inventory. In fact, this will be three, because I'm going to sell them. And she's got one in her own inventory. Now, these other ones I've locked, um, got the air pressure rocketry, give you the same skill. She needs to do something that's going to give her social and fun. So, oh, hang on. Did I tell you to clean the potty? No, that's not what I meant to do. You've worked very hard, Tegan. I actually thought I had queued those actions for Hannah and I didn't. Anyway, it's fine. So social and fun, you say. She can watch, um... Seth is now level four mental. Well, the rest of the kids are all at level four pretty much. Uh, comedy. I mean, it sounds like it would be fun. And then you can come down here and maybe watch TV with your sister and talk to her for a bit because she needs social and fun. Poor Tegan. I'm working her very hard because she's a vampire. Oh, Violet's level five mental. We're going to talk about the freezing temperature. It is snowing outside. Now, is the little one up? She is. Where are you? Oh my God, how did you get all the way up there? And who destroyed this dollhouse? I mean, it could be either of them. The angry toddler or the angry adult. Let's uh, pick her up. Giving her life lessons. I mean, I like it. Come on, pick her up. Yes, she is cranky because it's a long way down. We're going to fly here as a bat and I will get her out some food because I did just make a fruit salad. If she's put that toddler down, I'm going to be very upset with her. She didn't. Good. All right. Get yourself some food. Put her down, Hannah. Put her down. Come on. These kids are all fine. They're all just chilling, having fun. We have a random mushroom on the floor over here. I mean, okay. No worries. How are you going, Tegan? Because you really have more important things to be doing. If your needs are back on track, they're pretty close. I will let her finish watching the movie first. All right, Xanthi, eat your fruit salad, which looks very tasty, I have to say. I might go get myself some fruit after I finish recording this part because it's summer here and that means summer berries. And my son currently with his dad although when this video comes out I think he'll be back but in the meantime as I'm recording this there are berries in the fridge that I'm gonna get to eat because he won't have scarfed them all so you know that's a good thing I'm trying to look on the bright side if you're not watching the movie anymore or whatever the heck that thing was then I'm sorry lady but it's time to get back to work because it's taken me about 14 sim hours to almost get her to level two. Luckily, like I said, it is the weekend. So that's good. Um, I mean, it could be worse. Okay, Xanthi, uh, I'll put that away for you. 
And then, no, no, using your, oh, you little fine Hannah, darling. You need to come bath the child. She just used her diaper. I was going to have her give her a bath anyway, but. Yeah, you stinky. You can be mad at being stinky, but you just did that to yourself. And I had told you to go potty and you chose not to. So I will not be held accountable. All right, which one was yours, Violet? This one. Okay, we'll pop that. Oh, it's not going in. Pop that in your inventory. Pretty sure I told her to go to the toilet. So yeah, she's fine. I think all of the chil the actual children are fine. Um, and I think they've all done projects now. So what that means is they should all hopefully get from average B performance with extra credit up to an A. I think. And I think everyone's done their extra credit now. I will just confirm. Oh, you haven't done yours. Yeah. He's the lazy one, so he keeps running off to go to bed. Auric, the lazy child. And what's... Yep, everyone else has done it. So I just need stinky butt. No, oi! Destroy school projects. So naughty. Bath. Bath, please. Come on. Oh, yes. Tegan's level two. Good work, Tegan. Really proud of you, sweetie. I know this is a bit of a struggle for you, but it has to happen. So, yeah. Don't get cranky, little miss. Just because you're a future matriarch, that doesn't mean you get to be cranky at the current one. Whoa. There we go. Future matriarch bath time. Yay! Come on, Tegan, you can do it. I believe in you. Oh, it's a pretty sunset outside. Of course, in a vampire movie, there'd be a coach racing, or maybe a car, it could be modern, like a car or a coach racing across a desolate moor. I don't even know what a moor is, but it's something I've read. I'm assuming like this kind of countryside. If you know what a moor is, let me know. <laughs> anyway, I'm just saying, sun setting, vampire's about to come out and neck me. So that's great. Seth is going through a phase. He will pick up an instrument any chance he gets, yell often, and talk, turn all radios up to 11. Well, that's lovely, isn't it? No, no dancing. Please, Seth. I know you're, like, going through a phase and whatever, but, yeah, can we just get this stuff sorted first? And then you can dance. I don't mind. Although, I know he's going to make that music really loud, and I don't really want him to because it's going to, um annoy his sisters and brother. I was mainly thinking of her because is that an arch? I think it is. I think the sound travels through the arch, doesn't it? Santhi's level two is across the board and we're aiming for threes. All right, it's Sunday morning. We're slowly getting there. She's halfway through level two. You'll notice that I think this is Ulrich. Yep, he's over here doing another project because he decided that he wanted to do another project. So I was like, well, no, once you start it, you got to finish it, pal. And I think Will's done one as well. So Ulrich is mental level eight. That is crazy. Anyway, Hannah, you can help him. That's fine because... I don't care whether he gets it done quickly or not. I do need to keep them busy, though, so that they stop snaking in on her list of... Don't you touch that. Nobody touch that. All right, now he's busy. What are you doing? Cleaning up. Oh, what a good boy. Look at those. Seriously, look at those little tiny... Hang on. Stop. Stop. I want to just admire your fashion sense for a sec. How amazing is that? What a cool kid. Hannah has all the coolest kids. Uh, I do still obviously need to do her photo shoot. I'm hoping I can kind of reward myself with that at the end. But Hannah? What are you doing? Seriously? Even Tegan's like, whoa. Just, no, don't just be kneeling there being rude. Assist with the project. Seriously. That was really rude, Hannah. I know she has the mean trait, but geez. I wonder if our next one will be evil or something. I mean, she doesn't look evil, but you can never tell. They're always cute at this age. It's 4.30 on a Sunday afternoon, and we are slowly getting there with Tegan. She's really, really close. I'm very, very excited. In the meantime, Seth has finally discovered the radio and is blasting it. 
I have my object music turned down really low, but you can still hear it. All right, what are you doing, sweetie? You want to watch? I mean, do you get any benefit from that? I know you get a benefit from what's that in. <gasps> She's level three movement. I know I was talking about wanting to get her to level five, but part of me is super impatient to see what she looks like as a... Um, Oh, we need more projects. We've run out. Yeah, part of me is super keen to see what she looks like as a child and what her first trait is. So I'm not sure I'm going to have the patience, honestly. But we'll see how we go. All right, what do I need more of? Air pressure rocketry, I think. The ones that give rocket science. So this one. And hopefully that will be enough. Please. Oh, please let this be enough. I really want her to age up on Monday. I feel like it will be worth it at that point. All right. Uh, do you need to eat stuff you do? So I'm going to get her to just munch on the stuff in her inventory. And then just because she's driving me insane with the whole putting down plate thing. And then back to thinking training. Hannah, where are you? Molding clay. Not super necessary. Come out here and teach your youngest how to think that's an important skill that i wish more people had in the real world all right flashcards teach basic needs you want to learn about basic needs and she's like boy do i ever that sounds excellent santhi is thinking level three boom all right what next uh potty Imagination and communication. All right, perhaps I could, I think, just play give movement. I think it does. Teach to talk. <gasps> She's so close. Yeah. Oh, we're playing with dolls now. That's not what I remember saying, but okay. Oh my God, she's so close. She's so close. No, play with dolls. Play with dolls. Anna, where are you going? <gasps> Violet! It doesn't matter though, because we just got to level three with Tegan. Oh my goodness, that was amazing. All weekend, it's 7.56 p.m. Xanthi also is now communication level three. She's communication level three, and I just, poor, poor Tegan. Poor, poor Tegan. She can come and have a, let's give her a muscle relaxing soak. Ooh, I better put the food in the fridge. She can get herself some plasma fruit. And then I might end this part off with a photo shoot for those of you who are interested in that kind of thing. And I actually am going to say goodbye now. So if you've enjoyed, like and subscribe, etc, etc, blah, blah, blah. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.